It's Leanna Ling from AdSkills.com, and today I'm going to be walking you through a tool that we've created called the Direct Response Prompt Genius for Chat GPT. You can use this to create effective marketing materials, and it's going to save you a ton of time. It's, it's also a great productivity tool. And so I'm really excited to show this to you. Let's dive in. Now, the first thing is you're going to need a Chat GPT account. And I have uh, the paid version here, Chat GPT Plus, but you can absolutely use it as the free version as well. And when you go in, you, it may not look like this. I do have a plugin in here called AIPRM. Just a little tip for you there that we learned from our friend Carlos Redlick is to use as AIPRM prompt as well. A lot of free prompts in here too that you can kind of go through. But make sure you have this signed up. Again, you can use the free version and then go over to the direct response prompt genius for chat GTP, GPT. When you receive this, um, it should force you to make a copy. The reason we do that is because this is a Google Sheet. There's a bunch of formulas and stuff behind here. And so to make it easy for people just to quickly jump in and use it, um, just letting you copy it so that you can you can go ahead and dive in. So we have over 300 prompts that are loaded up in here, including three one-click generators that Justin Brooke himself personally engineered. Yes, he is also a master prompt engineer. So you're going to get three of those one click generators that is going to work in here too. What you want to do is you want to come over here to the prompt selector and choose your prompt category first. So there are a couple different categories here. So just choose any single one of them. Maybe you want to do a um, email nurture sequence. Okay. Next under prompt to generate, pull this down as well. You might get an error, but that's okay because this was actually pulling from a previous category. So just ignore it when it says invalid there. Instead, just click over here, the little arrow, and it will refresh and pull down the options that you have here. So let's choose a, um, let's do this email nurture sequence with comparison to competition. Let's try that. Okay. Next, I want to put in my target audience. So let's just put in here media buyers and product or service let's put ad skills core plus and i don't have a product or service so i'm just going to leave that blank and it says content subject or keyword now not all of these um four four um, fields here apply to every single prompt um, so if it doesn't quite make sense with what you're doing, don't worry about it. And hey, just just fill it out because you may it may be you may be able to use it. So here I'll just put I'll put pro certification because that is our upgrade from Core Plus. And then for the content subject keyword, I'm just going to put um, let me just put here. I'll just put uh, media buying. No, I'll put here paid traffic. All right. And I don't know if it's actually going to be used inside of this email nurture sequence, but I have them all filled out here so that I don't have to fill it out again when I choose another prompt. So let's then just click over here. You notice how this updated and I'm just going to click here and I'm just pressing control C on my keyboard in order to copy it. Next, I'm just going to go into chat GPT and click new chat and down here on the very bottom, I'm just going to click paste in there. It does paste a whole bunch of space in there, but that's okay. I don't need it. We don't have to worry about it. And you can notice here that it is starting to generate. So I'm just going to pause while it thinks, and then we'll come back and see what it generated. Here you can see it started to generate the email series, and it's just typing away. I'm literally doing nothing. Okay. So we're just going to speed this part up for you. All right, it is now finished. Now, I'm gonna give you a couple tips on what to do with this next. So it's written out something, that's great, but maybe it's not quite in the voice that you would like. So we can actually have it re to rewrite it. So let's put here, it's, I'm just, sometimes I like to say please, you don't have to, please rewrite in the writing style of, I'm just gonna put here Justin Brooke and see what happens. So what's nice about this is, It'll give you some output and then you can just start iterating on that based on what they've given you. And you can see that this is now in a very different style 
from what was just created for me inside of ChatGPT. Next, you might be thinking, well, what about all the other emails? This is just the first email. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this here, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it down here. There may be other ways to do it. This is just how I'm going to do it right now to do it very quickly. I'm staying within the same chat, by the way, because I want to make sure that the whole context of everything here is saved when ChatGPT responds to me. So I'm going to put here, it says, please write an email based on the above in the writing style of Justin Brook. Mail for email one add skills core plus 101. Then um, I might have to put here features of add skills because it won't know add skills core plus. Okay, now take a look here. It's taken the information I gave it. So remember, it doesn't know everything. You have to pretend as if this is your assistant who doesn't have any information about your program or what's in your head. So I noticed it said it'll give you a rundown of the features. I gave it the features and it wrote a pretty good email. I'm going to have to edit it, of course, after this, but uh, I'm not going to have to take too long in order to edit it. So this is just a really great example of how it's, you know, saving us a ton of time. And it's written it in the voice of Justin Brooke. It even was smart enough to say, hey, me, Justin Brooke, you know, writing it for, as if Justin was writing this email. And you can do the same thing with the rest of the emails in here. When you get to uh, the results, then I would put the customer success stories in there as well. So you just have to make sure that you give it information that it might not readily have. I hope this has been really helpful for you to use our newest tool. And please let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. Plus, we will leave a link if you want to join our Core Plus membership. So I will see you on the other side.